Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Mighty Bildo here on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe down below for more stuff and cool coolness when it comes to games and pop culture and everything, movies, all that stuff. Um, you also got a podcast on the channel. It comes out every Friday, 6 a.m. in the morning. Go check that out. Um, and we got a nice Halloween episode coming up. Uh, we're going to play games and old school legend and Rhino, who have both been on the podcast before. Um, they're going to be battling for their souls. So it's going to be pretty cool. Pretty interesting to see. But anyway, today we got uh, quite a few games I got from GameStop. And I'm kind of, you know, over the years, I have not liked GameStop and how they how they do things. So you buy a brand new game from them and you get it and it's not brand new. It's not wrapped it's got stickers all over the box and but they bill it as new and it's kind of pissing me off um it's pissed me off before i remember back in the day um i got fight night round two or three or something from gamestop and i went i grabbed it off the shelf new game you know was just, i grabbed the empty case um and i brought it to the counter and i said oh, i want to buy this and they said okay charged me $60 for a brand new game and they just pulled the disc right out of the drawer they had stuck it right in the case and said here you go I was th I didn't say anything at the time I was kind of young I was like that doesn't seem right I got home I was like this isn't this isn't new it's not wrapped it's not like I didn't pull the cellophane off they pulled the disc out of the drawer and gave it to me and just sold me a brand new game like that's not new that's used in my opinion um but anyway the GameStop just had a big ass sale um a lot of these games are between five and ten dollars um, for pro members, and I wasn't a pro member before, but I signed up for it. Old school legend who's on the podcast um, hit me up and said, "Hey, crazy deals going on at GameStop. Go check it out." Went and checked it out, and I got I think there's seventeen games here we're gonna look at today. Um, but yeah, let's jump into it and make sure to like and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys. So first off, here we got Callisto Protocol. This is one game I got that is sealed and is brand new they build it as brand new and it came brand new sealed in the original packaging so i'm happy about that and ps5 day one edition um i never really played the dead space series but i figured for five bucks why not grab this and put it on the shelf the second one we got tales of arise i have never even heard of this before and challenge the fate that binds you. But it is sealed in its original cellophane packaging, which I'm happy with. Came in very good condition for the PS4. I've been a big PlayStation collector the past few years. I was big into it when the PS2, and then I turned into a Xbox kid when that came out with Halo and Halo 2, as a lot of people I'm sure did. Um... But recently with the PS4, I got back into it with all the God of Wars that were coming out and The Last of Us and Horizons. Great games, and I'm big into PlayStation now. I'm a PlayStation fanboy again. The next one we got is Evil Dead the Game. Another game they build to be brand new. But this one is not obviously brand new. There's no cellophane on it. It's got one of these atrocious stickers right in the top corner. I'm going to have to break out the goo gone or something and try to get that off. But, you know, for five bucks, I'm not sure there's much, much I could say about it. Evil Dead the game. The next one is Scarlet Nexus. Another PS5 game that is completely sealed. Still in the packaging. In great condition. I've never played this game before. I don't even know what it's about. We are all connected. Dive into a brain punk future caught between technology and psychic abilities. Interesting, interesting. Rated T for teen. Scarlet Nexus for the PS5. Brand new. Five bucks. Or five, between five and ten. I don't remember exactly what I paid for each one. But they were between five and ten. I didn't pay over ten for almost any of these, I think. This one I saw was a GameStop exclusive. Um, I know the tag says $8.99. I don't think I paid that. I think this was a $5 one. 
but obviously another atrocious sticker on there. There's a few that's been piled up, um, and there's no cellophane packaging. Um, but being a GameStop exclusive, I was kind of curious if this is one that might jump in price at some point. Oh, there's another one on the spine there, another sticker. Not a fan of that. Um, I probably will never play this, but it was just one of those... I saw it, GameStop exclusive, five bucks. I was like, ah, let me just grab it in case it goes up in value. Um, just a little ding right there on the case and the plastic. Might have to see if I could find a, a new case for this. Yeah, Summer Sports Games, 4K edition. Next one is for the Xbox Series uh, X and Xbox One, Little Nightmares 2. Um, still sealed in the original cellophane. I like it. It's got this, uh, the sticker on the end there, on the edge, sealing it. Will you dare to face this collection of new little nightmares? I never played the first one, but I know, uh, there's a lot of people out there that like these games, so I had to pick it up. Maybe, and one day I will get into this, but my backlog is kind of... Kinda backed up right now. Little Nightmares 2 for the Xbox. Now this one, Pac-Man Museum. This one I know definitely was not $20. I think this was a $5 buy and like how can you turn down classics? 14 games of classic Pac-Man games. This is definitely cool for the Xbox. Xbox One, but obviously I'm sure it's backwards compatible with the Series X. Another sticker down there. Co-op, one, uh, one through four players, multiplayer, one through four, 4K Ultra HD. Oh, it supports the arcade stick too, that's cool. I didn't know they even made arcade stick for the Xbox. Nice. I have to try that out. I have to, I have to see if I could find an arcade stick. Now, here's one that really pisses me off. They build it as a new game. And I know this says ten dollars. I can't I don't remember if this was five, eight, ten, whatever. But the most concerning thing is I clicked the new button. I wanted it new. And they send me a generic case. They don't even have the original artwork for the case. And then the disc is inside, and I guess this is a poster or something that came with the game. Yep. It was a pretty nice poster. Chris Tales. Looks like a Japanese anime um, RPG or something. I've never heard of it. But I saw it and it looked pretty interesting on the site. I said, you know what? I'll try it out. I'm going to have to try to find a case or at least the artwork for this. Try to get these stickers off. Another one, Panda Hero Remastered. It is also a GameStop exclusive. Um, another one I thought might go up in value at some point, so I wanted to grab it for a cheap price. But more generic artwork. Actually, it says <laughs> there's an NFL sticker on this. So this probably came from a Madden game. And they just stuck this one in there. Game The... This is has some smudges on it, but overall in good condition. I just wish they had the original artwork, and the original case it came in. And another one, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, next level big. B1G, it's supposed to be big, I guess. Um, generic case, not even a green Xbox case. But Golden Hero Pack. That's in there. I'm not sure. It's probably been... This is obviously used, but they build it as new when I went on the website. The disc is in good condition. It looks like some ridges on the edges. I'm not sure if that's normal or what. But overall, game looks in good condition. There's no manual. I know man games is a crapshoot whether it's going to come with a manual these days, even straight from the manufacturer, brand new. Um, but I wish they had the original case and artwork for that, for that baby.
Now, the quarry for Xbox Series X. That is nice. That is, I love the artwork there. I guess so these are all characters in the game. Obviously still sealed all the way around. Got the sticker there. You won't believe what you'll become. Looks pretty freaky. This would be a good Halloween game to play, I guess. You know, when this came out, I saw it. And I never, didn't know anything about it, so I couldn't justify paying 60 bucks for it. But these, these sales, that's when you pick up these hidden gems. Games you don't expect to be good, but they might be good. I'm not entirely sure. But for 5 to 10 bucks, who cares? Let's give it a go. The Quarry. Now this one, it's an Xbox One game. But they didn't even bother to put any generic label in there they just threw the game in a case and called it good this is sword art online another game i've never played before i don't even know if there's more in the series i've never played but for the price they were asking it's like why not disc looks to be in pretty damn good condition but definitely not new definitely not new Destroy all humans. I actually got two of these copies. I'm going to give one to somebody for Christmas. But one came brand new sealed. The other one is obviously not brand new. It's got that atrocious sticker on there. But for the most part, it's good to go. The case, the game is obviously used. There's some dust or smudges on the back. Not sure if you guys could see that. But, oh my gosh. Definitely not new. But, they say it is. Destroy All Humans for the Xbox One. Now, Destroy All Humans 2. Another game they said was new. It is not new. Has this asinine sticker on there. I'm going to have to get out, try to get off. Destroy All Humans 2. Re, uh, reprobed. Huh. By THQ Nordic. THQ Nordic puts out good games. All since I was a kid, I loved the THQ Nordic games, like the um, all the WWF games, No Mercy and WrestleMania 2000. Um, they're awesome games. They're good developers, so I have high hopes. I've never played these uh, Destroy All Humans games, but I heard they're cult classics. And this is also for the Xbox Series X. Another new game. I say new. That is not technically new, and it was not forty dollars. I paid probably ten bucks for that. Star Wars Jedi Knight Collection. This one is pretty cool. Um, comes with Jedi Knight Two, Jedi Outcast, and Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Um, internet and PlayStation Plus required for online multiplayer. Internet. Oh, online multiplayer. And then it says, I guess that's uh, Spanish or something. Um, another game they build to be new, not new. It's not sealed. Sticker. Um, let's see what the disc looks like. Yeah, disc is in pretty good condition. Very good condition. I wonder if they, I wonder if they resurface them or something. Um, but it's obviously not new. It's used. But for the price again, oh well, I guess. Now here's just a quick. I got the same Pac-Man game for the PS4. Um, I think I'm gonna give the Xbox version to somebody I know for Christmas. But I'll keep the sealed PS4 version to myself. Guys, and that's it. That's all the games here. Um, 17 or so games that I got from GameStop this week. I wanted to make a quick pickups video for you. Um, if you like this kind of content, let me know. If you think I could do something a little better, um, let me know down in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And let me know if you got anything from the GameStop sale this week. I know... It was a crazy sale, like new games. You could click on the used game, the used option on their website, and it would say $20, 30 $40 or whatever, but then the brand new version would be like 5 bucks, 10 bucks. Insane deals. Couldn't beat it. Thank you to Old School for pointing, me out, uh, pointing that out to me, and I jumped on, took advantage, and there you see it. And again, a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.